also want to go back to Fox headquarters in New York. Okay. They're making some news back there, too. All right. Uh, who's at the news desk today? Let's go ahead and take that, push the button, and Spin see who it is. Button. It's hey. Patty Ann Brown. No way. I think so. That, that is such a I nice, personalized introduction. I'm, I'm just so <laughs> touched by it. Good morning, folks. And we are starting with a Fox News alert. Several members of a high school basketball team are among the dead after a plane crash killed 68 people in the Central Asian country of Kyrgyzstan. The Boeing 737 headed for Iran went down just after takeoff near the capital city of Bishkek. Most people on board are thought to be Iranian. ITEC Air has been banned from operating in EU airspace because of failure to meet safety and aviation standards. 22 people, including two crew members, survived. And another deadly plane crash to tell you about. Five American aid workers died when a small plane crashed in Guatemala. Five other people were also killed. Four other Americans on board survived. The plane developed engine trouble 45 minutes after takeoff from Guatemala City. The civil aviation director says the pilot was trying to make an emergency landing when the plane crashed. The humanitarian group was headed to a village to build houses. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice is in Israel today. She'll continue working toward an Israeli-Palestinian peace deal. This is Rice's seventh trip to the area since November's peace conference in Maryland. That's where President Bush and Israeli and Palestinian leaders set the end-of-year goal. Gaza rocket attacks have hurt the process. Israel has released Palestinian prisoners as a goodwill gesture ahead of Rice's visit. Olympic ratings for NBC saw gains over the 2004 Athens Games, and primetime ratings were up over 15% over the last Summer Olympics. The gains came largely from Michael Phelps when the swimmer was chasing history. In the seven nights after his last race, NBC's primetime coverage outrated the Athens Olympics only once. Here's your final medal count for the 2008 Summer Olympics. The U.S. winning the overall medal count comfortably, 110 to 100. The Chinese put on their best Olympic performance ever highlighted by capturing the most golds with 51. Americans did best in swimming, the U.S. taking 12 gold medals, including those memorable eight from Michael Phelps. And those are your headlines here in New York. Back to Brian, Steve, and Gretchen in Denver. Yeah. Hey, you know, right, it's, a, it's amazing, Patty, uh, uh, Patty Ann, too, is that they're talking about this being the best Olympics ever in the Beijing.